So hi everyone. Uh, today we will uh, discuss about uh, what are the various learning rules in a neural network in deep learning concept. This is a simple example of an uh, artificial neuron that x0, x1, x2 up to xn that represents the input vectors and uh, from wi0 to win that represents the weight corresponding to the input vectors. Their net weight is summation weight and their input. So and we can apply the transfer function, the sigmoid activation function. Finally, we can get the output. Number one is a memory based learning. Of memory based learning, the concept can be classified based on the similarities with the already learned data from uh, training and uh, testing data. Here we are computing the similarity between the new data and already trained data items. So, we comparing the relevant features of the data elements and calculate the similarity rate. And the size of the training data increases means automatically the cost also becomes increases. So we have to predetermine all these things. So two essential factors uh, are of all the MBL uh, based learning are number one is criteria that is used for determination of local neighborhood of the input value. And second one is the type of learning rule applied to learning data that are used as example in the local neighborhood. Hebbian learning, it is a hypothesis based learning norm. So this method of weight updation enabled the neurons to learn and was named as Hebbian learning. So the main functions are that information is stored in the connection between neurons in neural network in the form of weights. Weight change between the neurons is proportional to product activation values for the neurons. So as the learning takes place, simultaneous or repeated activations of weakly connected neurons changes into a strength one that leads to a strong connection in a neural network. If two neurons present of the two sides of a connection are activated synchronously, so the strength also becomes increases when they are in a synchronized manner. When they are not synchronized means automatically the strength becomes decrease. Then the next type is a competitive learning. It is an unsupervised based learning. Here single layer feed forward neural network. Here the main rule is that the winner takes the all. The output nodes try to uh, compete with uh, one another to represent the input pattern and the winner is declared according to the node having the most output and is given the output as one. Remaining layers the output are assigned as zero. So only one neuron is active at the end and here uh, one simple example is that uh, when a teacher is asking a question to the students all can raise their hands but only one student can able to answer that question. Error correction learning it is a technique of comparing the system output to the desired output value and using that error to direct the training. Here the error connection can be handled by two mechanisms. Number one is backward error mechanism and next one is forward error mechanisms. These uh, error value can be used to directly adjust tap weights using an algorithm. Here is the input layers and uh, the biasing and weight layers are there. So, so after getting the predicted output, uh, we compare this with the output generator with the help of uh, actual output. So error is find out by adaptive algorithm rule we can updating the weights. Here in this uh, perceptron rule network starts its weight by assigning a random value. So we can find the error function by calculating with the predictive and uh, actual output value. Then by adjusting the weights uh, checking each and every layer the error functions as either increased or decreased. Here in this rule of perceptron we if there is a error means the synaptic weights are changed. So the weights are updated. So based on the rate at which the learning has to be done then the target value and the output value. So the next learning rule is the back propagation. Here the back propagation uh, is a multi layer feed forward network with one layer of many hidden units. So here you can see these are all the input layers uh, input signal passed across as a feed forward network. So after having the outputs uh, we can consider the back propagation as the error signals. Main merits are the implementation is easy and uh, we have less computational time and the updation of weight is also have a smooth effect. As some uh, demerits is that uh, it is a inefficient method and uh, output sometimes may be a non-numeric one. So 
even though uh, we are using the gradient function to ca calculate the loss but uh, it's not a guaranteed loss function to find the global minimum of the error functions so this back propagation is various application various fields uh, such as their signature verification image processing and their domains structural engineering design in civil engineering concepts bioinformatics have various applications next thing is the delta learning rule defined uh, by the withdraw and half here uh, we equaling that value to the multiplication of uh, error and uh, input with the learning rate so if the difference is zero means there's no learning take place otherwise we have to adjust the weights to reduce the difference then the correlation learning rule which is similar to that of a uh, hebbian learning rule so here it is a supervised learning based approach so it uses the weight change calculation so we can update the weight help of the learning rate input function and desired value of the output signal correlation nothing but the comparison and similarities that present among uh, two variables so the final one is that uh, uh, boltzmann based method it helps to generate a uh, new samples from the same distribution so this uh, boltzmann learns probability density from the input data based on the data fed to the neural network during preparation the neurons in the network learn to make stochastic decisions regarding turning on condition or off condition so this pm model that discovers the data's dynamic underlying the patterns so the neurons uh, uh, present in the boltzmann are related not only uh, to other neurons in other layers but also to neurons within the layers also which is a significant change from uh, other common network architectures so it is a visible layer and this is a hidden layer every neuron connected to other neuron in the network so this uh, presents a difficult problem in training uh, boltzmann also uh, the unrestricted boltzmann is uh, not in a practical use only uh, restricted boltzmann is under many applications so the neurons uh, present in the boltzmann form a repeating factor that operates in a binary fa fraction that are either in on state which is plus 1 or off state which is minus 1 so the visible neuron serves as a link between the network uh, and its surroundings i hope you understand the concepts of uh, different learning rules present in a neural network deep learning based concept meet you in the next video till then it's goodbye from vijay